So I've got two USB keys plugged in. The first one has Windows Vista and the other one has the modded Windows 7 ISO with USB 3 drivers and all that. My theory is just to just go to this Windows Vista one. Let's go to sources, go to the install.wim file. We cut it. We go to our Windows 7 USB, go to sources, then we paste that install.wim. Oh, shh. We go to this install.wim. Let's just delete it from here. Yes. Now we paste the new one. Paste the stupid install.wim already. Go back to the Windows Vista one. Sources. Friggin' install.wim. Just right click and just cut. Just to really make sure we click this this time. There's no fancy shortcuts for now. Sources. Right click, paste. There you go. After an obnoxious amount of time, it's done copying that one file. But before I forget one crucial thing, and what is it, you may ask or you may not. Either way, I don't care. Um. Anyways, so you go to your ISO collection and get our infamous ACPI.sys file. What do we do with it? We copy it. What do we do with that copy? We paste it to the root of the USB. UP. And uh, now we can partition our hard drive using a beautiful disk management. And I don't have much storage left in this, like 70 gigabytes. Not really partitionable, if that makes sense. Now let's go to shrink volume. I have around 70 gigabytes left, so let's allocate, I don't know, 40 gigabytes. Now we, let's shrink, I shrink or something. Boom. Boom, we unplugged the Windows Vista USB key. Hey, look at hand gestures. And now we've got our Windows 7 one. Uh, Windows 7, it's actually now Windows Vista. Does it have our ACPI.sys file just to make sure? Yes, it does. So now we can uh, reboot this computer and <laughs> hope for the best. I don't know why I chose to do this at 10 p.m., but sure. Spamming the F12 key to get to the boot manager. We go to generic flash disk, which will always be a trustworthy name. You see a Windows 10 logo, don't you worry, because this is based off the Windows 10 installer. If you haven't seen my installing Windows 7 on modern hardware video, I'm butchering the American accent. And again, I'm not gonna do any UEFI install because no thanks, that is too difficult. Oh no, Windows 7 background. Oh no, setup is starting. There you have your installer. Oh yeah, as expected. Plug an external mouse. Look at how janky the USB key I chose is. Somehow managed to plug the mouse. If you can even see anything. Now, as usual, I'm gonna choose the French language next. There's your Windows Vistas. Ultimate, of course. There is no way in hell I'm choosing anything else. Ah, out of focus, be jumping. There's your 40 gigabytes partition. And now let's install Windows. There's actually no way I'm doing this. Again, the reason I chose specifically Windows Vista is because it's pretty much Windows 7. Again, a whole lot of stuff is familiar to Windows 7. So maybe the drivers will work as well. If we can even get to the home screen that would be crazy i don't care if there's no internet working of course the graphics won't be working since windows 7 and the graphics are not working so if we just manage to get to the home screen then that's great italian hand gesture guess we're almost there can't wait for the acpi.sys error now the question is will it actually get fixed oh windows could not apply on a 10 settings any change is made to your computer won't be saved <laughs> damn well that took quite the turn for the worse that's strange ah uh, so now sure thing this is confusing i honestly should have expected an error but i Again, it just still boots to Windows 10 just fine. What the heck? I mean, come on, I can't be bothered with this. It's 10 a.m. already, and I don't want to be wasting my time trying Windows Vista in this, so it's something to be appreciated, and I bet you probably didn't enjoy this video because, again, I didn't actually achieve the installation of Windows Vista, but I'd much rather do anything else now. <laughs> Peace.